Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed here from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna walk you through the third beta of Android Q that has been just released after Google I.O. But before getting started, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So the first thing I'm gonna show you here is the new navigation of the Android Q third beta. As you see here, the bell icon design is now different. It now looks like a small line at the bottom of the screen. Also, you will notice that there is no back button anymore. So what you can do here, if you are inside an application and you want to go home, you swipe up and it will take you back home. If you swipe up from the home screen, you will jump to the app drawer, which is expected. And if you want to jump to your multitasking screen, you just do a half swipe and hold, it will take you to the multitasking screen. And if you are inside an app and you want to use the back button, which is no longer exist, you swipe from the edge of the screen and it will go back. Also, if you swipe from the other edge, it will still take you back. And here you can jump home. Uh, after installing the third beta, I noticed that I'm still on the same navigation of the Android uh, Q second beta. So to activate this new navigation, you need to jump to settings and then search for gestures for system and then you will have here the system navigation option you have fully gesture navigation or two button navigation which is the same navigation that we saw in android pi and android q and the very old navigation which contains the three buttons as normal also, the new navigation is a lot more stable in the third beta. Uh, now, when you swipe between apps, you no longer see the uh, Google uh, search bar showing accidentally at the bottom of the screen. So it's now a lot more stable as you see here. If you do really like the dark theme and you want to implement it on each and every app on your phone, even third party apps that does not even support the dark theme at the moment, there is an option to achieve this in the third beta of Android Q. To achieve this, you can go to settings and then scroll all the way down to system, advanced developer options, and then go to something called hardware accelerated rendering and you will find an option called overwrite force dark if i switch it there on see what's going to happen first thing the google search bar is in dark facebook for example it's a third party app and it turned it to be dark whatsapp is in dark even the google play store is now in dark uh, also let's say Insta um, instagram yes is in dark as well as you see here so that's a really cool feature and I really like it because it will save a lot of battery life for your phone and it's a system wide. None of the apps will be in white anymore. Everything is in dark on your phone. There are also some improvements related to the performance. Uh, in the release notes of the third beta of Android Q, Google mentioned that the startup time of apps is better now and I really noticed that especially in games. Uh, previously on the Pixel 3 XL when I open a game I get a black screen for two or three seconds and then the game start up but now the, all the games are starting up instantly so once I hit the icon I see the loading screen straight away one of the biggest changes in the third bit of Android Q is the live caption however it doesn't work for me I'm not sure why so for example I'm playing a video here and I'm hitting the volume key and I don't have the option to ex uh, allow the uh, captions to appear. Uh, also, I made sure under settings, accessibility, I have the captions turned on uh, with the language uh, English United States, uh, text and the caption style. However, it doesn't show up. So I'm not sure if it's an, a bug only impacting me or it needs some extra steps to be active on the phone. So please let me know in the comments if you came across this issue. Another change here is the feature flags no longer exist under settings, system, advanced developer options. Uh, in the second bit of Android, we used to have feature flags containing some uh, things that you can activate on and off, but not anymore. 
uh, it has been removed in the third bit of Android Q. Also now the screen capture option is totally removed from the device. It doesn't show under feature flags and also uh, if you try to activate it by holding on the screenshot, it doesn't do anything. And I searched for the settings and I couldn't find it anywhere. So it seems like Google took it off for now until they get a working version of it. When it comes to notifications, there are few changes that took place in the third beta of Android Q. Let me show you an example here. So I will take a screenshot. And when I do that, I get a notification icon at the status bar and the top. And also I get the screenshot on my notification sheet. But if I swipe to the left, now I have a new menu that looks totally different. And I can choose between two things either interruptive which will show the notification on my lock screen my status bar and will also play a sound but if i set it to gentle it will not show on the status bar or the lock screen and no sound comes out of this notification but it will stay on uh, or it's, it will stay showing on my notification sheet so if i hit apply now i don't have the status bar icon and also it doesn't show up on my lock screen but it stays in my notification shade as I mentioned to you and I can dismiss it by swiping to the right side and you still can choose which side to dismiss your notifications under settings apps and notifications notifications advanced and you will have swipe actions so you can choose whatever side you prefer for the dark theme as well, now you can add a toggle in your notification shade to activate the dark theme. So the first thing you will notice here that the build number will be written in the notification shade. So it's uh, worth mentioning. It's a very small change. It doesn't impact anything, but you will notice the build number is written here beside the edit button. So when you do edit, you have now a toggle for the dark theme. You can just place it anywhere in your notification shade for easier access. So now you have the dark theme in your notification shade and you can toggle it on and off. Also it's under settings. You can go to display and you will have theme, you have dark and light. So it's a lot easier for you to, uh, to access it from the notification shade. Another small visual change here, if you try to go to wallpapers, and changed your wallpaper now you see the set wallpaper screen is different it has this blue tint at the top and the overlay menu as well looks different so that's pretty much it for today that's an early walkthrough for the third beta of android q i didn't get my hands on each and every feature yet there are some of them didn't work for me so i will try to find workarounds for them and to keep you updated so if you like my video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So thank you for watching.